Scusi, if it's not too much trouble, you could make my name a little bigger, maybe, huh? It's a little too piccolo. That's better, thank you. Grazie. Buongiorno, I am Silvio Berlusconi. I am a very rich. I have $8.7 billion US. You will take. I am a very successful, and as you can see, I am a very handsome and as charming as well. I am also il primo ministro dell'Italia, and I am the president of the Council of Ministers of the Republic of Italia. Not too bad, huh? I am here today to talk to you about some recently shocking public allegations against me made by my enemies. Up until last week, everything was really good, when suddenly my beautiful bride, Veronica Lario, whose brain has been infected by forces of the left and some of the paparazzi that oppose my benevolence. She sent an email to the National Associated Press Agency, ANSA, in which she said some unfortunate things. Look at that face. She got a face like she suck a lemon. Now I want to show you what she looked like 20 years ago. She was a one hot babe. Anyways, you see, not too long ago, I was in a Napoli on a business. I had a little time to kill, so I went to the birthday party of Noia Militizia, the lovely daughter of a good friend of mine. I dropped by, I just wanted to raise a glass, I stayed because everybody wanted to be photographed with me, which anyone can understand is a great honor. Allora, to be polite, I take a little gift. I gave Noemi a photograph of me with my autograph and a book. Somehow, the leftist paparazzi find it out, and they find the Miss Letizia, and that delicious young flower, she gives an interview, and she says, It was a lovely surprise to see the man I call Pappy at my party. I call him Pappy, but of course he is second to my own father. He gave me a lovely necklace as a present. Then, to make matters even worse, this delicious, sweet sprite shows the book which I autographed for her that is dedicated as follows. To my little Noemi, my little graphic artist, your little daddy teacher. That's me. The paparazzi, of course, make a big noise like I did something inappropriate with this scrumptious nubile budding young artist. Now my wife, she got bent out of shape when she hears I attended this party, and she says, That really surprises me because he has never come to the 18th birthday parties of any of our children, despite being invited. Oh, that was a very low blow, but she was not done yet. Not even a close. Next, the Vatican gets mixed up in this and throw a few more logs on the fire. Here's where I need to give you a little bit of background. You know, a little while ago, I named four very qualified women to run for election for my political party. Former Miss Italia contestant Barbara Matera, 28, Big Brother Italia contestant Eleonora Gaioli, 29, soap opera star Camilla Ferranti, 30, Big Brother contestant Angela Sozio, 31. Nice team, huh? These lovely young butterflies are ready to decide the destiny of Italia. The fact that they are all foxes is only coincidental. I was subjected to some criticism about the experience of the candidates, and some church journalist, he suggested that all of this was to sustain the enjoyment of the Emperor. So my wife, a fish face, she writes, I agree with this, what has emerged is a shameful trash, all in the name of power. I want it to be made clear that my children and I are victims of this situation and do not agree with it. We have put up with it and suffer with it. I tell you, you cannot make this stuff up. Now I know a lot of you are going to think what's wrong with that fish-faced woman. I told you before, her brain is infected by the forces of the left. About a year ago, I made a little joke about the Mara Carafania, a member of my cabinet. And all hell broke loose. What the hell did I say? I said, if I wasn't already married, I would marry you right away. I mean, look at her, she's a magnifico. It was just a little joke. But my wife, she went crazy, and she makes me write a front page letter to the newspaper we call La Repubblica. It's a goddamn newspaper that competes with my newspaper. I begged for forgiveness and stated that I would always protect the dignity of that fucking fish face. All year it has been a constant attack on me. I found a friend of mine named Agostino. He runs the Radio Televisione Italiana. I asked him to give some acting work to a few of my young actress friends. The idiot was under investigation and his telephone was tapped. Somehow the transcripts got leaked. The press went crazy. They say I step on my own salchicha again. Wait a minute, it gets even better. Last year I managed to piss off Tarja Halonen, the Primo Minister of Finland in the entire country who was also apparently not able to take a joke. That's a nothing. At the G20 summit I also managed to piss off the Queen of England. Not too bad, huh? I was up to my ass in the crocodiles, but I'm not even sweating because I am Teflon Man. That was a very nice audio effect. Teflon Man. Teflon Man. Nothing sticks to me. I'll show you what I mean. Look, 
all my problems are disappearing because nothing sticks to me. Bye bye problems. I am half an old man. Nothing can stick to me. Look, my problems all disappearing. Okay, Veronica, it's time for you to sleep away. Sleep away. I am Teflon man. Sleep away. I am Teflon man. Sleep away. Sleep away. Sleep away. Sleep away. Sleep away. Sleep away. Sleep away.